Hey everyone, I know a little bit of a weird camera, sorry if the frame rate's not that great or if the picture quality is not fantastic. Uh, using one of my older webcams right now, the Logitech C920, it's actually a great streaming cam, at least it used to be. I technically still have the Logitech Brio, which is hooked up right here. I'm, I'm working on some stuff here. Uh, my main camera is probably not going to be used for much um, direct recording like this when I plan to do things. I know the image is a little blown out. It is what it is, doesn't matter, you're here for Capcom Leaks. That's right. There are leaks for Copycom. Uh, thanks to a ransomware attack. So say basically someone hacked into Capcom. I'm not exactly good. Uh, we know a bunch of stuff. Uh, and we have the next four years leaked for Capcom. This looks completely official. This is crazy. Uh, here's a few highlight summaries before we get into the full leak. Resident Evil Village details is getting a current gen release. It launches in April. There's going to be a demo before release. Monster Hunter Rise uh, is going to be on PC, releasing in October of 2021. There will be demos for the Switch in January and again in March. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is also going to come to PC, targeting June of 2021. Uh, it'll be a Switch slash PC release, single player, online co-op, and PvP modes. Paid DLC expansions, free post-launch co-op quests, cosmetic, microtransactions, and amiibo support. Amiibo support, baby, is planned. Uh, source code for Devil May Cry 2 and Umbrella Chronicles is, is, is in this league. Stadia paid Capcom $10 million USD to put RE7 and RE8 on the platform. Sony paid $5 million for RE7 VR timed DLC slash demo exclusivity, and the Misadventures of Tron Bond source code is in there. However, we have some more stuff. Now, this all appears to be from May, March, somewhere in there of 2020 is where this information comes from. Let me just show you the game list because, my God. All right. So, as you see here, we got Monster Hunter Stories for fiscal uh, year 21, quarter 1. Uh... DGS 12 for quarter one, fiscal year 21. Shield for quarter three, fiscal year 21. Resident Evil Outrage for quarter four, a fiscal year 21. Regolith for quarter four, a fiscal year 21. Indies 2 for quarter one, a fiscal year 2022. Indies 2 Port, which is for quarter two, a fiscal year 2022. Dragon's Dogma 2 for quarter two, a fiscal year 2022. Street Fighter 6 for quarter three, a fiscal year 22. Uh, Rockman Match for quarter three of 2022. Resident Evil 4 Remake is happening, folks, for fiscal year 2022, quarter four. Omnimushu, New York, New York. <laughs> I was supposed to say New York. Uh, for quarter four of fiscal year 2022. Monster Hunter NSG for quarter four of fiscal year 2022. Shield G for quarter four of fiscal year 2022. Monster Hunter 6. I guess they're not done with the numbers, huh? Uh, coming back here in quarter two of fiscal year 2023. Biohazard Apocalypse for quarter three, fiscal year 2023. Capcom Commando for quarter four of fiscal year 23. SSF 6 for quarter four of fiscal year 23. New C for quarter one of fiscal year 24. Final Fight Remake for quarter two of fiscal year 2024. Power Stone Remake. Power Stone, man. I didn't expect that one to come back. Uh, quarter three of fiscal year 2024. New B for quarter four of fiscal year 2024. Ultra Street Fighter 6 for quarter four of fiscal year 2024. And then Resident Evil Hank for quarter four of fiscal year 2024. Folks, this is a massive leak, an unprecedented leak. Can you imagine if Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, Activision, Blizzard, well, Activision, Blizzard, same company, um, you know, if you have uh, EA, Ubisoft, uh, even, you know, heck, recently acquired Bethesda or something like leaking four years of data like this. Obviously some of these are code names, you know, like new B, new C, obviously code names for things. I don't know what they mean, but what I do know is this is a massive leak. I don't know how many of these games are coming to Switch versus PlayStation 5 versus Xbox Series X or PC. Maybe some of them are PC exclusive. Maybe some of them are for mobile devices. I have no idea because that data doesn't seem to be included, but companies do plan out 
roughly four years in advance on game development. That is very normal. If Nintendo got hacked into, you would see a leak similar to this, where you'd be seeing games that Nintendo doesn't have it announced that won't be coming out for four years. This is crazy. I, I don't even know how to fathom this leak other than to say, Capcom, my boys, are bringing it. For the next few years. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, was that ever in doubt at this point? Resident Evil 4 is the best-selling game, I think, in the whole IP's franchise. Originally, GameCube exclusive, but then it went everywhere. It's kind of like Skyrim. It's on everything. So, (laughs) baby. All right, folks. Catch you guys in the next video.